Hater, I the b I said hater. Killing the game, I sway your locator. Yeah, yes. Running the shot like I'll say yours. I said Hoover, Hover, Bofa, American Gangsters, you choose Zeus, Coda. We gotta talk about these haters. Oscar de la Hoya, I, I do believe. He disses Javante Tank Davis, and somehow, some way, he figures Ryan Garcia, upon loss, is the new face of boxing and pay-per-view stardom. Let's talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Subscribe. Now, if this ain't one of the reach of all reaches, Oscar De La Hoya felt froggish and decided to leap. He says, at Ryan Garcia, he tags him, Ryan Garcia is the new face of pay-per-view, like it or not. Gervonta only did 200,000 pay-per-view buys a few times without Ryan. With Ryan, the fight generates 1 million plus pay-per-view shoulder shrug emoji. Now, this is by far some of the dumbest logic because when, when people have these weak straw men arguments, oftentimes it's not put into context. Collectively, Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia did great numbers and it did over a million. That aspect is true. I made a report on that. If you want more on the numbers, check that video and subscribe to the channel. But to suggest that Ryan Garcia, upon loss, knockout loss, not TKO, not disqualification, but a knockout loss to Javante Davis in his biggest step up, is now the face of boxing and you know the face of pay-per-view it seems like a bit of a stretch now me personally i said what i said about the fight i have nothing really bad to say about ryan garcia i think you know as a fighter he stepped up he did a great job with his side on the promotion and he did his thing but what his promoter is saying and suggesting just sounds foolish and in my personal opinion i think ryan should get away from golden boy promotions the other aspect that seems oh so funny to me is the fact that Ryan Garcia took an embarrassing KO loss, first pro loss of his career, unlike the two people you see on the screen, Floyd and Tank, right? Tank beat him, vicious body shot, Showtime's doing the epilogue, and you guys can check that on YouTube or it'll air on Showtime tonight. And with this devastating loss, especially after Ryan did a lot of talking, he was on Mike Tyson saying two rounds, I'm gonna knock Tank out, Two rounds, that's all I need, yada, yada, yada. So again, did a great job promoting, but the confidence did not measure up and actually culminate to a victory. So he lost. A loss is a loss. It was a KO loss. My thing is this. Oscar De La Hoya has all this stuff to say on Twitter, but why were you not there for your fighter? As far as the excuse he gave to account for his absence, I'm not buying it. He said he received threats on his life. I mean, who wants to kill him because Ryan Garcia lost? It, it doesn't even make sense. So when you had Floyd Mayweather fighting Canelo Alvarez, guess what? Floyd beat your then fighter too, Canelo Alvarez. So Canelo is just as big as Ryan Garcia, if not bigger at that point. So how come you didn't receive death threats for a fight that did bigger numbers, which was that generation's, you know, one of his biggest fights. So you only get these threats in the Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia fight. How come you didn't give threats when Canelo lost? It, to me, it doesn't really make sense. I don't believe it. I don't buy it. I don't think anyone threatened his life. And that's why he didn't show. I think he wasn't the lead promoter and he didn't get the outcome that he wanted. So for whatever reason, he and B-Hop chose to not be there for their fighter. But ironically enough, Ryan Garcia went to his Twitter and says that he hasn't spoke with anyone regarding the future of his career. And he said he wanted to make that very clear. So I don't know if there's any kind of turmoil, trouble in paradise, but that was Ryan Garcia's statement. So why is De La Hoya vehemently speaking on Ryan's behalf after Ryan put out this statement saying he hasn't talked to Golden Boy or anyone else regarding the future of his career, but you weren't again there for your fighter after he lost. If you were gonna speak for him, you should have spoke for him at the post-fight press conference instead of you be hopping Goosen being absent. And people like looked at that as like, hey, where's Ryan? How come his family are the only people there for him? And Eric Gomez, you know? So to be honest, I, I think 
Oscar is trying to save face because his fighter took a loss. Again, the logic does not make sense. Doesn't make sense to get stopped by knockout and suggest that your fighter is the king of pay-per-views or whatever you're talking about. You know, Gervonta Davis, he got the victory in, in a much anticipated fight. So at the end of the day, that's what the history books will show. That's what will be remembered. Not Oscar De La Hoya trying to campaign and, and get in his fighters good graces by saying this poppycock and saying that, oh, Tank only sold this with this person. Because guess what? If Tank ran back a Pitbull Cruise fight right now off the hills of Ryan Garcia, especially in LA or Vegas, it's going to do numbers because some people think that Pitbull Cruise gave Tank such a hard fight. He's an action fighter. He has a uh, country behind him. He's from Mexico. So we'll see going forward. Oscar should be worried about Ryan Garcia's future and if it's going to even be with Golden Boy Promotions, not really trying to take jabs at the competition. In that battle, you lost. You were supposed to be the promoter and, and the one that beat Tank and took his O. Your team couldn't do it. Your fighter couldn't do it. Just like it's kind of like Mayweather all over again. Floyd beat all Golden Boys fighters. He beat Oscar De La Hoya. He beat Canelo. He beat Victor Ortiz, you know, and so on and so forth. So Floyd ran through his whole stable. And then now a guy, a prodigy who is known for being with Mayweather Promotions, even though he may not be with Mayweather Promotions technically now, Floyd was still in this corner to support and it looked like everything was good. And, you know, this future generation that came out of the Mayweather gym, Gervonta Davis and GT Promotions, they carried on that tradition of beating the Golden Boy affiliated fighter. So in my honest opinion, Oscar should be worried about that, about the fact that Sinisi Estrada left, Canelo left, Ryan Garcia, I don't know if he will leave, but he's coming off of a loss. Jojo Diaz recently lost. Jaime Mugia, he's winning, but people want to see him step up and fight someone of note. And then you got guys like his fighter, Virgil Ortiz, who's had many mishaps in his career, missing weight, fight getting canceled. He's been ill. His opponent had uh, appendectomy, you know, the fight being canceled, this, that, and the third. So instead of speaking on behalf of Ryan, Golden Boy's looking like almost in ruins, needing some rebuilding. So it's just, I think that's more pressing than trying to take shots, like I said, at the competition. Your fighter lost. No one's going to believe you that Tank Davis isn't a star after knocking out Ryan with a single shot to favor your opinion, which is, hey, guess what? Ryan's still the king of pay-per-views for whatever reason, you know? And it'll be interesting to see Ryan, Ryan Garcia's next fight. Put that on pay-per-view. If you're so certain that Tank ain't it and Tank ain't a star, put Ryan's next fight versus whomever because it likely won't be a PBC or Showtime guy. And let's see, coming off the heels of a knockout loss, let's see Golden Boy rebuild Ryan Garcia if he sticks with them and put him on pay-per-view and see how many views it does. I can't wait. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Best in the business. And y'all know that. And I'm